Hello, it is Kitty Blue. Um, it is April the 4th, and I have a box to open today. Um, it is already kind of partially open. Um, I purchased this off of eBay, but the person ended up being local to me, uh, just like a city, less than a city away. I mean, like right down the street. So um, they dropped it off, and um, so I'm going to do a box opening. So this is kind of exciting. Um, I've been collecting dolls, uh, BJDs, since, what is it, going on nine years, almost ten years, and this is my very, very first Fairyland mini fee. So um, I'm very, very excited. It is the Chloe Sculpt. Um, so this is going to be a very quick box opening, um, since she's not like wrapped up in everything because she was uh, dropped off local. So um, she came all the way from Denver Dawn Porium, or that's where the previous owner got her. So exciting. Here is the mini fee manual, which is really cool. It's got like restringing information and stuff in here which would be very helpful for a lot of people if they um, wanted to do that. I know that um, the neck mechanism and everything is different than other BJDs, so that'll be something to look into. So uh, this is a certificate from Denver Doll Emporium, showing that it was uh, purchased from there. Just some Denver Doll Emporium cards. And then the um, certificate of authenticity directly from Fairyland. And it's got like a unique serial number and everything on there. So that is that. So now we got the box here. Dun -dun. She is in tan. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So, I'm pretty familiar with like slim BJDs, but um, I'm curious how she's going to compare to the other slim BJDs I have, like my Rose and Souls. Um, she did not come with eyes, but I have plenty of eyes that I can use for her. I think I might just leave her face up the way it is. Um, it's a company face up. But the previous owner added some detail to the eyebrows and added like an aunt kind of symbol there in the middle. Um, and I think I might leave that. I'm not sure. I'm kind of like afraid to um, try and uh, take that off and mess up the <laughs> company face up. So um, she is on the action line, um, A line body. Uh, she has the cutie bust, which is um, the really the smallest bust, and the um, cutie legs. And um, wow, feel how smooth those joints are. So um, let's see. Head cap. I don't know. I guess this is like the same as other head caps. It's on a magnet. If I can actually open it. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like it when head oh, there we go. Head caps are sometimes um hard to so yeah, that's the inside of her head. It's got some eyeball gunk there. A little turnkey kind of thing. Um I'm not exactly sure. Okay, there we go. All right, so anyways, obviously anybody that has mini fees will know that the posing is probably phenomenal. Um, I've seen a few mini fees in person, but never really like played around with them or anything. So the wrist and everything, it's got good motion in it. It's kind of clicking, hopefully that's not, <clears throat> and I think the hands are magnetic, yeah. So the hands are magnetic, so the hands just come right off, which is awesome because if you have like um, really tight sleeves on an outfit, 
you can just take those hands off and not have to worry about anything. So there is her arms. Oh, there we go. I was going to say this wrist doesn't want to uh, do anything, but yes. Okay, so there is like this extra joint here in the center as well as here and um, a mobility joint. So she's probably going to sit pretty well, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm not sure really if this joint has much purpose. I guess you can kind of make her lean a little bit, but it doesn't seem like there's any motion forward or back. So it seems like this, this joint here pretty much isn't really very relative, um, as far as like getting better poses or anything. Um, this joint seems like she can't slouch any more forward. Um, she can kind of move backwards. So that's, I mean, I don't know. I've, I have some dolls that uh, I feel like have more posability. Well, this isn't too bad, actually. Have more posability in the uh, torso than what this does. Um, okay, so feet, I believe, are magnetic too. I'm not sure how, um, yes. Da -da. So I'm not sure how easy it would be to find high heel feet, but I wanted to get some high heel feet for her. Um, <laughs> she's just so cute. She's got this tiny little body. Yeah, that popping right there, it's like... So there's her head, side to side is, I don't know, it's just about as much as uh, most dolls. Moves the back and forward. Now one thing that I do notice, is, which is odd to me, is how big of a gap there is right there between her neck and her head. Um, but like, you know, if you're just looking at it from the front, or the side, it's not too noticeable, especially if she's got a wig and stuff on, which um, I do have a couple of wigs, but I'm not sure what exactly is going to fit her. <clears throat> this is a 6'7". Um, usually this is what I do for my... Ah, now it's just going to slide off, so she's going to need a wig cap. Um, but I don't really want to put a 7-8 on her because I feel like 7-8s are a little bit too big. Because, um, like, this is a 7-8 and it's like... Meh, meh, meh. <laughs> so I might just have to figure out, like... Um, let me see, this one... This one's a 7-8, but it's... Yeah, the cap's kind of big on this one, too. It's just a random video. Ah, I'm running out of time. Okay, well, actually, this one's not too bad. This one's not too bad. It's a 7 8. Uh, it's like really ridiculously long, though, so um, I don't know if I'll use this one for her once I get some eyes in her or not. Um, if I do, I might want to like chop this down considerably because, yeah. That's just unnecessary. <laughs> it's like probably like all of this. So that it's like maybe mid waist or right at the top of her buttocks. But um, yeah, it's very cute. Like I said, I've been wanting to um, get a mini fee for a while. And um, the opportunity just came up to get one. And... Here she is. Again, this is the Chloe Sculpt, and she is in the tan color. Um, my camera actually like makes things much brighter, so she's a little bit darker than what is showing, at least from what I can see <laughs> in the screen. But um, that is her. I'm going to like try some clothes and stuff that I have on her.
Um, like I said, I ha I'm used to like slim MSDs since I got a lot of resin soles and, and whatnot, so she should be fine wardrobe-wise. So um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.